Looking for a Thanksgiving recipe? This creamy pumpkin soup recipe is a very good one. Welcome or welcome back to our simple home. I peel one onion, it doesn't matter if it is a white onion or a yellow onion. My onion is from the garden, so it's very huge. So I take just half of the onion. Then I peel and cut off the ends of one carrot. I peel two sweet potatoes. Then I prepare my pumpkin. I use a sugar pie pumpkin from the garden, but you can use any pumpkin you prefer. You can even use a butternut squash that works very well too. We used it a lot already. I will need about half of the pumpkin, so it will be around 800 grams. So I cut my pumpkin in pieces so it's easier to clean. I remove all the inner parts and seeds. Then I peel all the pumpkin pieces. I use two tablespoons of olive oil in my kitchen machine. You can also do it in a pot, but then you have to cut your vegetables a little smaller and then puree it afterwards. I mix my onions to small pieces and then I fry them for about five minutes. Then I add my one peeled carrot cut into chunks. Next I add two peeled sweet potatoes, cut into chunks as well. And about 800 gram of pumpkin, cut into chunks as well.
once I added all my vegetables I mix it a little bit so it gets all smaller and it gets uh, cooked through quicker I add about 1 8 of a teaspoon of nutmeg 1 quarter teaspoon of ginger powder half a tablespoon of salt or even more or less to taste half a tablespoon of vegetable broth powder or any broth powder you prefer 400 milliliter of milk i used almond milk but any milk will work and also 400 milliliter of water i mix it well and cook it for about 18 minutes but if you cook it in chunks it will cook a little longer Make sure you puree the soup one more time afterwards. And this is how my creamy pumpkin soup turned out. If you like my content so far, please like my video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and share my videos with others. It means a lot to me, thank you. Now I show you how we always eat our pumpkin soup. Into our bowl of soup, we like to add a teaspoon of sour cream, a few drops of soy sauce and some pumpkin seeds. For us this combination is very delicious. I hope you will try this recipe too. Thank you for watching.